February is Career and Technical Education Month. On Monday, at the Hudson County Schools of Technology's Frank Arjulo campus in Secaucus, High Tech High School got a jump on the month-long activities by holding a DFAB Career Day for students in the 9th through the 12th grades. The first ever Design and Fabrication Academy Career Day was attended by 350 students with more than 35 businesses participating in panel discussions and breakout sessions throughout the school. Sure. So the Design and Fabrication Academy is one of three academies here at High Tech. And we offer uh, courses in architecture, industrial design, computer science, wood technology, metal fabrication, um, and robotics. So essentially, it's, um, it's an academy that allows students to, to work on hands-on projects and learn about different career options within the design and fabrication area. The types of businesses which attended the DFAB Career Day was wide-ranging. Uh, we have people from, you know, various architects, um, from Maori Marsh Architects to Aero Farms, which is a hydroponic company in, in, um, in Jersey City, um, to uh, some uh, parents that work for Amazon, um, it, um, as well as nurse practitioners and teachers. I mean, we, although we focus on design and fabrication here. I applaud the administrators, the leaders of high tech appreciating that these concepts of what to think of one's career later in life are important to bring in to the young earlier on. So how does one think about what one wants to do and what are the critical skill sets to learn in one's journey? And it's not necessarily as obvious as programming. It could be more broader as critical thinking, leadership, working in teams, things of that that are very important. And these are concepts where it's never too early to plant these seeds. What makes the Hudson County Schools of Technology stand out? We are a career and technical education learning environment. So students, after they choose a major, they're able to have the opportunity to learn within that major for all four years. So exposing them at a young age to different viable career pathways will just help them set their course for the remainder of their years here. Each student was able to select four companies who they wanted to hear from during the course of the Career Day event. Um, I found it to be really enjoyable. Um, personally, I'm really interested in architecture, so I've been um, attending uh, talks and speakers who um, have experience in that field. Um, and as a student who wants to uh, pursue architecture as a career and um, hopefully attend um, an architecture program um, in college, it's been really helpful to get um, firsthand uh, advice and um, just knowledge from people who work directly in the field um, and have experienced what um, working as an architect actually is like. It's because a lot of the times when you're exposed to something you may like at a very young age, it gives you an advantage as to like focusing on that in a lot of your classes. So for example, if you see an engineer and you notice that that may be one of a career path you may want to follow, you may like have a lot more passion for your math and science classes because you know that's the career path you're going to end up going in or you may want to go. On. Interest definitely drives learning at high tech. Next year, High Tech High School hopes to have a career week where each of the academies holds a similar event each day. At High Tech High School in Secaucus, reporting for Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.